Welcome everybody to my video tutorial. In this tutorial, we will go over a fix that I came up with on my own um, to resolve for some users the horrible crashes of Adobe Flash Player crashing Mozilla Firefox. As if you're here already, you probably already know that this is a is 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 really really bad. And this fix I came up with, I thought of it outside the box. Um, why it works, don't ask me to explain it because I'm not an engineer for Mozilla Firefox. I'm not going to try to reverse engineer or try to explain what Mozilla Firefox blundered up. Um, as you know, Google Chrome and Internet Explorer do not suffer this problem. So it's uniquely a Firefox problem. So this fix involves creating a Windows scheduled task. This scheduled task then in turn deletes three prefetch files in the Windows prefetch folder. Those are the plugin container, prefetch, the Firefox prefetch, and the Flash Player free prefetch. Those are deleted, or kept deleted, I should say, once every 15 minutes the task runs. Okay, so I made a script for this because it's kind of an involved process. It took me quite some time to actually uh, build a script out. And um, let's go ahead and dive right into this. There are two scripts. They both do exactly the same thing. One's a, one of them is built with WinRAR, so you can actually open it up and examine the contents of it, and those contain bat files and a VB script. The other one was written in AutoIT, um, and that is an actual program language, and you can actually look at see what these a WinRAR SFX executable is and, and AutoIT is. I also have a Word document in both word format and text format that explain this pretty much what we're going over right now. I recommend using the first link because it's the WinRAR one. It will work for you. Um, you can actually um, examine the contents of the data and see what the actual code is. So that's why I made it. Um, the second one was actually the first one that I actually made and it just works. Um, it doesn't step you through anything it doesn't uh, it, it just works um, if this one fails for some strange reason so let's go ahead and click on this first link right here and it's going to open up the SkyDrive page which contains my fixes here's the first one which is the WinRAR one and here's the second one which is the uh, auto IT one as well and here are those info files as well if you want to read those two as well so all you got to do basically is click the download button right here and then you save it I'm not going to save it I already have it on my desktop so I'm just going to go ahead and cancel out of that cancel out of here minimize this and here it is It should look like this. This is the symbol that it should look like. You need to make sure you have WinRAR installed. There's some links on the blog for that as well. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up and examine it. We're not gonna run it or double click it. So we're gonna right mouse click. We're gonna choose open with WinRAR. And you can examine this, it's self-explanatory. Basically what happens is when this runs, this will create a folder on your desktop called Firefox, which is which I already have on here. And inside that folder are several things. We'll get into those in just a moment. So let's just go ahead and run it. And then I'll go over to you what exactly it did. So basically, all you're going to do is choose Install. It's going to dump the folder on a desktop. If the folder is already there already because you ran it multiple times, it's going to go ahead and 
recreate those files and write over them automatically just in case you might have messed something up okay and then you'll see the black command prompt window come up with a whole bunch of commands when that's what we're going to go over here this is going to take about a minute or two to go over so basically like i said this script can be rerun over and over again and basically what it does each time you run it it deletes everything that it did okay so basically the it deletes this location which was created it also goes ahead and deletes these prefetch files if they exist if they don't exist it'll just keep moving as it can say it couldn't find it but it did find his flash player one so we delete it one out of the three this basically is the task that was created and there is no task so it's going to say an error if you ran this script once it's going to say success in there that it was deleted but because this is the first time we're running it it's not going to be there it waits a couple seconds it, it pulls some you it these basically pull your username and host name and basically assign variables to them and what happens here is is that there's an XML file and that XML file is the actual Windows task that runs and basically all we do is we do a find and replace of host name username with the current host name and the current username obviously these are gonna be different for your machine okay that's all that this, this FNR find and replace executable does there's a uh, link in there in a change log for that executable in case you guys are wondering there are two instances of an, an XML file so basically we're making a directory called scripts within program data okay we're basically copying some the files that actually do the deletion in there there's two of them actually and then what we're doing is we're importing the task the pre-made task called clear Firefox prefetch into the task scheduler and it said it was successfully done we're gonna go ahead and hit continue okay now over here is the Firefox folder that was created we're gonna go ahead and open it up we're gonna start in this folder right here the XML folder here is the XML file which was imported this is the actual Windows task this folder called Batman if you're having trouble and when you run this and it opens up a notepad you basically need to come in here and you need to basically double click on this bat file bat.reg run it accept the import into the registry reboot your machine and then rerun the green file again and then this should work just fine if for some reason you still can't get it to work go back to my blog and download the second link the second link does exactly the same thing it just uses a different delivery method this Firefox folder will not be on your desktop okay it's a basically a silent install all right so let's go back here again change log is here if you want to create a task manually to see how I how to do it manually there's a PDF for you here this is the actual file that actually does the deletion of the prefetch files okay this hide me VBS this hide me VBS this let me go back up a minute delete prefetch bat is wrapped in hide me VPS, VBS so hide me VBS calls this file delete prefetch bat to run well why does it do that for why can't you just tag that as the executable or the file that needs to be run in Windows task well the reason is is this I'll show you is the reason is is when you run a bat file a black command prompt window runs and it opens and it'll show for a a split second or a second but who wants to see that every 15 minutes I sure don't 
So basically all that this does is hides that black window. Okay. This is the initial installer that's run. You can actually op open it up and examine it. Here's a link to task schedule. We'll go over that in a second. And this will undo everything that my script did, literally. Um, there's only actually two things in here it needs to do. And these are the only two things it needs to do to undo what, what my script did. So let's take a look at the task real quick. So I included that link in there for you. And all you got to do is on this left window pane, click on Task Scheduler Library. Here is the clear Firefox uh, prefetch task. So let's go ahead and double click it. It's going to open up. And you can go over this. I'll go over it real quickly here. Basically, your triggers, you can go ahead and edit those, and I'll show you what they do. This is on a schedule, one time, starts in the year 1999, which is in the past. I just, you can select any time in the past, really, but I just chose that. Um, it delays a task for one minute, it repeats every 15 minutes indefinitely. It's enabled. Okay, the actions are, we'll go ahead and click on actions, we'll choose edit. Basically, it's basically going to start a program and then basically this is what it's going to start. Okay. Real simple. There's nothing else in conditions, there's nothing else in settings. Um, I disabled the history. This is basically it. Now, while we're in here, we're going to go back to the triggers part. I have noticed in occasion, it's extremely rare, but the prefetch file will get created in between the 15 minute time frame. And it can cause Flash Player to crash. If you experience this, you might want to change this time in here to once every 10 minutes or once every five minutes, however aggressively you want it to be. Running it every five minutes, I'm going to tell you right now, will not affect the performance of your system. This runs for a split second and only for a split second. You will never notice it. For the most part every now and then so you might see an icon real quickly appear and disappear in a task tray the system tray i'm sorry that's down by the, the clock but that's actually nothing to be alarmed about so that being said if you experience those issues like i said i've been running this for six months with no problems um, every 15 minutes. Um, until recently, I, I've noticed that there were some issues with the, the timing in it. And sometimes, like I said, a prefetch file got created um, in between those time frames and caused an issue. Extremely rare, but it can happen. So let's get out of here. And let's go back to the blog and make sure I got covered everything with you people. If for some reason this doesn't work, just run my undo command in the Firefox folder. And you might want to scroll down a little bit and check out disabling the plugin container. Um, this method will work too as well. It has proven successful. You can go ahead and click on this. There's also a separate video for this one. Um, and a separate blog for this.